All right, today I'm going to be doing um, part of a routine that I have uh, picked up off of Scooby. He's a, um, well, he used to be a YouTube fitness channel guy. I don't know if he's still on or not, but um, it's a chest workout. First you start off, you do as many push-ups as you can the first set. Um, right after you do that, then you go and you um, do some flies with uh, dumbbells, do as many as you can. Then right after you've done that, you do dumbbell presses. So you got no more, no more juice left. Nice thing to that. Following that, I'm going to use this uh, easy curl bar over here for a routine I came up with. And it's for uh, mainly shoulders, triceps, um, and it gets your traps involved in it. And then after that, um, oh, and then after that, I'm going to do some rows. But since I don't have a way of doing an inverted row or anything, I don't have the tiers to support me with that. Um, I'm going to do it in the door frame, which is an um, easy way of doing uh, workouts where you, you can't go anywhere, you're stuck in the house or something like that. And um, you need to work your you need to work your lats, um, your your bottom your, your bottom of your traps, or you want to work the chest. Also, you can do you could do it on a, a door frame, and I'll show that at the end of this workout. So uh, the beginning workout is going to be um, push-ups into flies, dumbbell flies into. Uh, dumbbell press. Um, I was already doing some a little early, so don't you know? Don't knock me off the amount of push-ups I do. But uh, here we go. And so you do as many push-ups as you can. So I got the 50, you roll right over, and get some dumbbells, then you do flies, and you do as many as you can, which it doesn't seem like a, I'm going to do too many. And then right after that, you do a double press. And that's it. And um, it might seem a little whack <laughs> off of about three flies and, and four, uh, four presses, but uh, when you try it out, to see it uh, really does number. <clears throat> okay, so after that, we're going to this bad boy right here. So with this, you're gonna do uh, three sets. Um, I guess this is about 20 pounds worth. So you don't need a heavy, heavy bar or anything like that. And I would suggest a bar and not using dumbbells uh, for the exercises. And it's gonna be um, 
I think it's four, four different movements. And uh, I'm going to go, whatever number you go up to on the first set, let's say it's 30. The following set, you drop five off. And the, the following set, say you drop five off. So if you're doing 30, first set be 30, second set be 25, and then the third set will be 20. If you're doing 40, it'll be 40, 35, 30. I got I'm going to do 30 because I haven't done this in a while. And my arms are already tired from push-ups and pressing on stuff. So. so you get a chair, you can do it standing up. I will also suggest a chair to use. Alright, so the first move you're going to be doing is sort of a tricep press, but it's over top of your head. I mean, tricep extension over top of your head. Put your hands close together on the bar like this. Lift the bar over top of your head, just over top of your head, not behind or anything like that. And you just push up like this. Push straight up. Okay. Right. Every um every movement you're gonna be doing up to 30. So after that one, you open your hands wide up for like a military press, and you put it behind your head and just push up 30 times. Then you're keeping your hands the same width apart, bring it to the front of your chest. Lean back slightly so that the bar is sitting over top of your top of your pecs, and you just push up again, like a frontal military press. After that, the last movement, you're gonna close your hands up again, and you're gonna put it. you try to get your elbows close together. Put the bar behind you here for actual tricep extension, like so. Like that. Okay. Um, I need to get a different chair because the chair is sinking. Okay. Now I got a different chair. And I'm going to start. So I'm going to go up to 30 first set. Second set is going to be 25. Third set is going to be um, um, 20. And uh, in between sets, I'm going to turn different directions so you can see how it looks and needs to be side and back. Okay, first exercise. Hands up, come behind your neck. <sighs> and front of the chest. And then the child's exist. <sighs> As you view first, yeah, A set, take a break. <sighs> Um, also, when you're doing your different set and uh, different reps or the different movements in the routine, try to keep your back straight. Don't, uh, don't have an arch in your back or anything like that. Try to keep your back straight the whole time. Okay.
take this time, we're going to 25, taking five, five off. So you want to keep the weight over top of your head and your elbows pointing outward, not inward like this, but out. Press up. And put your hands outward to the ends of the bar. Put it behind your back. Press up. Then <sighs> same movement in front of your chest. Uh, arch your back so you can get on top of your chest, your pecs. And the last movement, hands close together, try to keep your elbows in. Over top of your head, press up. All right. So, uh, either by now, the first set should definitely be feeling your shoulders, your deltoids. Um, should be feeling your traps and your triceps. Well, at least that's what I feel. I definitely feel in my shoulders and my uh, triceps, but I also have a tendency, especially with the military press from behind and the uh, tricep extension, I feel it in my my traps, the lower lower traps, uh, which is like the upper middle back. Last set, and we'll go to 20. This is how it looks from behind. Full one, it doesn't matter. And that's it. Um, like I said, when doing that exercise, I suggest you use a bar, which is, you no know, easy curl bar, a regular barbell, um, use a broom stick, mop sticks, you know, something like that. Um, when you're doing behind your back, make sure to try to try to avoid hitting yourself in the back of the head with the bar. If you don't have enough flexibility to put the bar behind your head without safely, without smacking yourself in the head every time you lift up, then I would suggest, um, I guess, just put the bar back on top of your head like you were doing the first part of the, the routine and do it that way. Um, I guess I'm going to have to zoom this in so you can see it better. Uh, so... Basically, you're just going to be in the doorway. You're going to put your feet past the doorway. You're going to lean backwards with your hands cup, 
inside the um, doorway. They lean forward, put your feet forward and lean back. And you're just gonna, you're just gonna pull yourself like a uh, resting your heels. And you're just gonna pull yourself forward towards your hands, like that. Get a pull going on. That way you can work your legs. You can work your rear deltoids without having to have extra equipment in your house. Just using your body weight. If you want, uh, want it to be harder for yourself, you when you pull, instead of just pulling yourself up, you pull with enough force to take yourself off of the uh, off of the doorway. Then let yourself drop back, catch yourself, and uh, bring yourself back with control. Pull yourself back with enough force to lift you off again, drive back like that. And that way you have more power and it, it, it um, take more strength to, to do, take more effort. So like this. So for that, I suggest doing it um, as many times as you can until you really start really feeling the burn and you know you need to take a break, take that break. Maybe 30 seconds, 20 seconds, something like that. Go back at it again. Do as many as you can until you feel that, that you feel that same feeling, the same burn that you need to take a break and do it one more time after that. So you get three sets of it. You can have it either around shoulder width, I mean shoulder height, or a little lower. But don't, you know, put your arms all up here. Maybe have a little lower or shoulder shoulder height. And then uh, for the same thing, same thing works for um, for your chest pressing movement. Um, you want to do something like that either if you're you're doing an active rest, which is like um, you're in between your sets, but you don't want to do a hard workout in between the sets and not do a superset or anything like that. So you go over there and you do something easy that's going to work your body and keep your heart rate up while you're, you know, waiting for that, the other muscles to recuperate so you can go back into your regular set. So for this, basically do the same thing. And this is also helps you if you're not strong enough to lift your own weight on the floor for a push-up. About shoulder height, you step back a couple of steps away from the wall, I mean, away from the door frame, and then you just let the weight go down. Then you get a nice stretch of your pecs when you're down, and then you push back up. You stand on your toes so you can get more of an angle. Let yourself down, push back up. Let yourself down, push back up. Let yourself down, push back up. If you want to get um, more of a more of a pec burn. Not just you don't want both your tri uh, your triceps and your uh, front deltoid and your chest. You just want mainly just the chest to get worked. Then, um, then what you want to do is you want to stay low in the door frame, like this, about this low, and just bounce over and over again. Just pushing the chest to bounce, and this might take a little bit of time. More than it used to. You go in and you bounce just a little bit. You don't stay your hands all the way out. You bounce just a little bit. And this might take more uh, more reps. But once it starts kicking in, you know, you'll really start feeling the burn in your chest. Um, it packs. You might, might get a slight burn in your, uh, your deltoid, your front delt. But you won't really feel it in your, um, your triceps. And you just do, you know, 20, 30, 40 of those. Um, and just do sets of those in between. Um, in between an, uh, another set for active active set. Or you can do it um, to uh, do push-ups instead of 
doing on the floor. Um, so uh, that's what I got for today. Um, I'm going to finish my rows on the wall and then uh, that'd be it for me. Uh, probably go for a walk to um, you know, for some cardio. Walk for like an hour or so I could. That's it.